me and my wife had a big fight, which we still haven't resolved. I spoke to my daughters, and my daughter's uh, five and a half years old. She said, oh, I miss you, Daddy. I said, oh, I miss you too, darling. I really love you. And then I said, can I speak to Mummy? Uh, I said, oh, I miss you. She goes, oh. I said, you miss me? I've been really busy. I want to be with my wife. I love my wife. But we don't have a, that many things in common. We've got a lot of different things that we value and that we're, that we're interested in. What's changed? I'm working even harder than I'm doing, you know, really early mornings to, to late nights. I've got outside interests as well, which she doesn't like. What are your outside interests? I play in a band. But you could be there because you could give up the man. Yeah. And she'd like you to do that. Yeah. What instrument do you play? Guitar. Tell me what it feels like when you play the guitar. Look at that. What, what did you just oh, think? It's, like, it's astonishing. Yeah, it's astonishing. That's a great word. It's like being a god. It's like being a god. Yeah. And when you go home with your wife, how significant do you feel? What do you think the chances of him giving up the band are? No. No way. No way. He'll give her up before he'll give up the band. We had a fight about that about a year ago. It was a case of, you will do something about this or else. And we came to a compromise. And what was that compromise? That I would um, only play, you know, three times a month, something like that. I see. She's saying, here's something that makes him feel like a god, and the maximum you can be godlike is three times a month. Here's what I want from you. By the way, I love you. But she wouldn't see it that way, I'm sure, because what she's saying is you're not here with your family, you're not here with me, you're not here with your kids, you're not here with ever. She has a different perspective, fairly. But I want you to see his window on the world first. Do you love your wife? Yes. Why'd you pause? I'm questioning it. The reason he's questioning it is because he's not fulfilled there. So if I'm not fulfilled, how could I love her? And if she doesn't want me to be completely fulfilled, how can I love her? And even if I love her, do I, I don't want to believe I love her because then I'm trapped. How far off am I? Bang on. Well, if I asked your wife, what's her name? Andrea. If I asked Andrea, score Neil for me, how significant does he make you feel? Let's do that. I want to switch hats. You're in her body right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm asking you, Andrea, tell me about Neil over there. How significant does he make you feel, zero to ten? You know, when he leaves, never comes home, makes the band more important than you are. He knows how you hate that rock music and he wants to go play it anyway. Maybe a three. Three. Does he love you? Yes. He does. How loved do you feel, though, these days, zero to ten by him? Three. Three. And how certain are you that he's going to stay and love you? Eight or nine. Eight or nine. How certain do you feel, though, in moments about that? I'm thinking it. You're thinking it yourself right now. How many ladies agree with me? Raise your hand. This is where you're deluded. How much variety does he bring home to you? Surprise, desires, playfulness. You don't expect to serve you, to light you up. Zero to ten. Five. Five. So how much are you guys growing together? None. Zero? Zero. How much do you feel like He's trying to contribute to you. From your perspective, Andrea. Probably zero. So here's a man who wants to contribute nothing to you. On a zero to 10, thinks you're a three in importance. On a zero to 10, thinks you're a three of love. Yeah, give you a five of variety, but he's sticking around at an eight. What would you want to do to him, Neil, if you were her? Change him or get rid of him. Well, you're thinking like a man with a get rid of him part. Now, he is the father of your daughter. Are you really going to just get rid of him? No idea. Yes, you do. Is he the source of your security financially? Yes. Are you going to get rid of him? He's yeah. the father of your daughter, and he's the source of your survival. Are you going to get rid of him? No. No. What are you going to do when you feel insignificant and unloved and uncontributed to and not growing with? What are you going to do? Make him change. Make him change. You're right. How are you going to do that? What tools do you have in your arsenal? Make him stay at home more often. How are you going to make him stay at home? Give him an ultimatum. Give him an ultimatum. What's the ultimatum say? It says it's, uh, it's, you spend more time at home and you don't go off playing with the band. Or? Or I leave. And take your daughter. With you. Or, no, she'll probably say, or you leave. And I'll keep your daughter. Yeah. What's her nature? 
not when you're frustrated with her, when she feels herself, not when she's stressed, what's her nature? She's very creative in her own way. You know, she's, she's into art, she paints. She doesn't do it often enough because she always says she's not good enough, even though I say, you know, the stuff you do is fantastic, let's put it up on the wall. You should sell this to a gallery, you, could, you should exhibit. Oh, I'm not good enough, I'm not good yeah, enough. But, but that's the female form. Women do that with each other. Oh, yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Oh, no, you're, no, you're better. No, I'm not better. You're better. That's one downsmanship. She's begging for your attention. Yeah, which I give. I which don't I, know, but yeah. she wants so much more. So do you like that nature, that artistic nature? Does that appeal yeah, to you? Yeah, I love it. I love it. In fact, isn't that part of your nature? If she follows it, but she represses it on herself. No, she's begging for you to be her man and show her the artist inside. She's begging for that. Goals in life. Her goals are to? No idea. I have no idea what her goals are. So you can't leave. You have no clue. You've been too focused on yourself, even though you're a good man until you've gone and given everything you have as a man to fill up those six needs with her at tens, you can't walk away. Because you haven't done what's necessary and you know it, that's why you're on the fence. Because if you'd really done everything, you wouldn't have left because you're a smart man and you're a strong man. What does it take for her to feel loved? What is she really after in this life? You fill her up so much that she wants to give to you now. And she says, honey, go to the band, go, go do it twice a week. But you won't know until you give completely and totally. No holds barred. That woman needs to be lit up. And even if she wasn't the right woman for you, the next 90 days should be the greatest 90 days of her life where never has a man given her more attention and focus and caring and love. And you tell her after those 90 days, this is what I need, honey. Can we make this work? And you'll know the truth at yeah. that point. What do you think? Fantastic plan. But first, fill her up. What is up, BT gang? You're Adishina Hango. It's your boy, Be back with another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's the channel where you watch my lab. Um, so, y'all, listen. I hope everybody is having a great day. Um, as you guys heard in the video before, I'm explain a little of the background on how I got that video, which is really interesting. Um, it took me like a day to really listen to that video and understand each point because the way my life has been going so far I've been feeling like everything happens for a reason so the fact that this video was sent to me I feel like it happened for a reason because it sort of kind of opened my eyes to a different type of point of view that somebody else may have of me so long story short is um, I have talked to Tamia um, I haven't seen her at all um, like at all at all uh, but like I haven't even looked at a picture of her like I, I, of course I have like literally mostly all of her content and pictures and everything on my phone but I haven't like saw her like as of right now her um, but I was talking to her because I got to the point to where I wanted to find a way to have a discussion with her, but do it where we aren't like at each other's neck, so she's not at my neck, or I'm not at her neck, or you know, we're having a civilized conversation. Um, and she was really receptive to it. It wasn't about me and her, it was about the kids per se. Um, and I learned a lot through that conversation of, of where I let her down, like huge and put her in crazy ass situations as as of t to date basically so last couple like i've made i think one or two videos um some of one of them were old that i put up but another one was like a newer one and i haven't been able to pick up a camera because honestly i'm more focused on my family and trying to make sure that I'm able to hold up my end which I have completely not been able to do um, for numerous of reasons but the reasons really which this video is entitled is, is, is no reason um, I talked to her 
and I just want to first give a shout out to her and I want to give a shout out to women in general that may go through this because as guys we don't really notice this but for example I had a whole bunch of stuff um, that I was going through as far as my car, my license, a lot of things from the accident that I had like months and months ago. Um, I was focused on that to the point to where um, me and her weren't talking, I haven't seen my kids. Um, and I sort of kind of just left her to watch and take care of the kids while I worry about the things that's going on with me to the point to where I didn't even check on her to make sure she was good or I just assumed that she was okay. And me talking to her the other day, I think it was yesterday, me talking to her yesterday was crazy because when I talk to her, all I would think about or, or relate to her is what I'm going through and telling her what I'm going through but never really ask her what she's going through. And I feel like as a guy, or in general, we start to really focus on what we're going through. Like the last video I made about me and her, I was focused on what I was going through and how I felt and how I missed her. But it's like, it's, it's deeper than that now because the audio that you heard in the beginning, that's something she sent me. And what I felt was unique about it is in the video, the things that were being said, I know for a fact she could relate to as far as how I make her feel. And I'll touch on the kids first because that's the most important thing. I saw the kids uh, finally this weekend and it was lovely. Like They didn't want me to put them down. It's like a different type of love that you feel when you walk somewhere and then you just see your kids and like it's just like crazy love to where it's like I wanted to cry to be honest with you like because I miss them so much and I'm starting to realize that honestly man take everything away from me take all the money away from me take whatever away from me as long as I have my family I'm happy and uh I'll never forget that night because once I was I spent like an hour and a half with them and like because they were about to go to bed so and my mom had picked them up my mom has been helping Natasha on the weekend every other weekend I believe in getting them um and honestly y'all uh, when I saw them the bills went out the window the court dates went out the window the issues went out the window I just focused on them and it really made me feel rejuvenated. But when I put them to sleep and I said goodnight, in my head I was just thinking like, damn I miss it, you know? And the reason why I thought that was because like, they need both parents. I didn't grow up with the father and uh, I feel like I sort of kind of let them down because of my own internal issues and me trying to, me just being down on myself. And it's like, before I laid them down, I apologized to him and I just was like, listen, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be there for you. And it takes a lot to put this on the internet, but the reason why I am is because um, maybe somebody may be going through the same thing one day and they need they, they just to avoid this like if you and your girl or your family it's an internal issue within your family that you guys are having a problem with and uh or it's just a personal problem with you don't take it out on your family or and don't dislodge yourself from your family because so many things are hitting you at once because it's not about what's hitting you because those things are going to continue to hit you. It's not about how many things hit you in life. It's all about how you get back up. And I wasn't getting up, you know. I had really, really, really dark moments. Um, and I was depending on... I'll say, I was depending on... 
my family to pick me up but I had to pick myself up because as she would love to say I don't listen or I put myself in a situation and I can't depend on Tamia to pick me up because she's dealing with the kids in the room or in a house watching them not able to work or do whatever she needs to do which I'm pretty sure internally it made her feel like he don't care about me or he's just thinking about himself and it don't help that me I put pictures up on Instagram or I put stories up or videos up and it makes it seem like I'm just sitting here enjoying my life and I'm pretty sure like she had nights where she was just upset or furious with me and uh, don't do that I will never be an absent father I will never abandon my family I didn't grow up with a father so I know how it feels as a kid not to have a father and I grew up with a single mother so I know how it looks I don't know how it feels but I know how it looks to be a single mother with nobody to help you and I don't want that to be on her spirit at all and I don't want to ever put her in that situation man when me and her got together um me and her was best friends best friends like when I tell you I never had a friend like her like I was with her every day and she was with me every day and she was like my road dog she was my right hand she was everything to me from the time I met her you see what I'm saying like they talk about love at first sight and like we don't really think that it's true but I think that it was true like when I first saw that girl bro something in me something in my spirit it was just like yo like damn and of course i played it off but i thought she was so so beautiful like and i think she's the most beautiful girl in the world period period um but i lost that best friend and i lost that that lover i lost all of that a lot because of things that I deal with internally as far as wanting to not be with <sighs> wanting to not be with I didn't have for example I didn't I don't me my big thing is providing I, I want to provide for my family if I can't provide for my family I just feel I just feel so low if if I'm not with my family I feel so low um but we have to understand that it ain't even about the material things. It's literally about the time that you spend with your family. I can be in a creek or in a car and still love my family. Um, and and that's, that's really the main thing. Uh, but to get back on track, um, a lot of video, a lot of, like, for example, a lot of things that Tasha, when I was uh, talking to her, she was saying, like, you keep playing the victim. And I never really understood that. I thought it was just like a deflection um, to not talk to me. But I can, as I like continue to watch the video, to hear the audio, I can really understand from her point of view, like she did nothing wrong. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Like she, she did nothing wrong. Like she did nothing wrong but be her. Like it's me that couldn't handle it. And what I mean by that, like, I couldn't handle the pressure of being the, the person that I wanted to be, which is to provide for my family so they don't have to want for nothing, to make sure she is good, to make sure everybody's good, all of our kids are good, and also to make sure that I'm happy. But meanwhile, the funny thing about it is I'm literally just worrying about money, worrying about YouTube, and that's it that's it of course me and her lay down and chop it up and laugh and make jokes with each other and have experiences with each other but I'm not building her up I'm not I'm not doing 
what I should have done to make sure that she was ultimately happy. And if I don't do it, who is going to do it? Another guy or somebody else. And um, that's what the video really taught me. I right, sorry the camera died, but yeah, yo. So it's just like situations like that to where um, I, I took I took notes because the questions that he was asking I wanted to answer. So I was like trying to take notes, and like I would I would say it to myself, and I would like literally think about it, like, all right, bet. So what what is the number? And like I can honestly say, no number for me goes under two. I mean, yeah, it goes over two like or over three like i don't think that i was helping her grow um and stuff like that because i was worrying about how is this fly this be whatever i was worrying about um me and and the problems that i had and i really worried about hers so in return she you know i i i, I can understand certain things on how she feels um but it's not about uh how i feel it's more so about the remedy of it and a lot of people like when i go back on the we are busy 4 e page a lot of people they asking uh what's up and when are we doing another video and all that other stuff so um i'm pretty sure not anytime soon i mean are both gonna be doing a video together um but youtube is the last thing that i'm trying to like focus on when it comes to me and her um because honestly i think that I should have helped her grow more or help obtain some of her goals or supported, not help, but supported her on more things. And as a guy, I think that we should realize that like we gotta support um, our women more, like support more than anything. The heck? Support more than anything, your yeah, girl, because she going, she needs that. And what I mean by that is, it shows her that you care, and it gives her more confidence. And that's really what we need to do. Um, and I feel like that's the most important thing that I I could have done is so uh, is support her and everything. And I mean, not that I didn't, but a lot, a lot, a lot more. I don't understand why people blast music for no reason and they just sit in their car and their car just look like a dusty dust ball. Like, I don't understand. Like, it don't make sense. It don't. But anyway, um, so yeah. She sent that back to me and I don't know, yeah, I don't know where to go from with this and go forward to with this. Because part of me, I, I be wanting to talk to her. I want to see her. I want to hold her, hug her. Um, I'm definitely going to be way more stable when it comes to the children. Helping, her, helping out with my responsibilities. Because I haven't and I didn't. I fell off because I was worrying about paying back this and working that and all of that and it's just none of that really matters bro because it's not just me it's not just me it's not just when you have kids bro it's not just you and um i don't know i don't know y'all like i have to for for 100 percent fact i want to be the best father i can be to the children the best um and I want to be, I'll just come out and say it. There's no other girl that I can see myself with. Like, I, I picture myself marrying her. Like, I don't know how she feels, but that's how I feel. Like, I picture, I don't picture me marrying or being with, like, anybody else. Um, trust me, me and her both, I feel like, can get other people. We both can venture out and talk to others. But... 
nobody interests me but her because I've been through too much with her I've grown so much from her and I've done things that she is hurt by and what else is it to do but for me to stop worrying about me and evaluate myself to try and be more even if me like I don't know like me personally I, I know for a fact that that girl loves me I, I know that for a fact um that's not a question but the question to me is has she found somebody else um and will I get another chance to be able to do everything I didn't? That's really the the meat and the potatoes of the whole situation, you know? And the way I handle that is I try and just pick my, my myself up when it comes to me being down that like she not she not that person right now she not the person I could just talk to all the time about whatever like she not that person right now she's hurt because I I hurt her especially with this situation I can't imagine just sitting there being in the house with kids so it's like boom I, I can't do anything but she sent me that video i tried to text her last night she really wasn't trying to really talk to me so all i can do is keep showing her my effort because at the end of the day all the effort that i put in with her is, is going to be worth it and it's like you really gotta think about it anything worth having is worth fighting for you know what i mean don't fight against something you're supposed to be fighting for. And at the end of the day, I fucked up. As as a human, we have to be able to just be like, I fucked up. And I'm bringing this to you guys because it's like, bro, listen, if you messed up, bro, like, and this is the girl that you wanna be with, you gonna have to just suck that shit up. Like, suck the pride up, oh, I'm second her first every time or oh I'm I'm doing it like bro even Jay-Z had to sweat Beyonce to get her back you know what I mean like it's just I think it's it's, it's one girl in a lifetime okay don't don't get this twisted like don't do this for just anybody but it's one girl in a lifetime I think you need to be sweating and that's the girl that you that you know that yo this is this is this is I believe this is my soulmate like she didn't show me so many, too many times of her relentless attitude towards moving forward. I need to show her my relentless attitude of moving forward and getting back. Um, because I don't want to have kids with nobody else. I want. I don't want to have a life with nobody else. I don't want to do none of that. And I can honestly say that. And it's not because um, nobody has options. It's because that is the option. That is someone that has been, like, when I did wrong, no matter what, she still embraced me. You see what I'm saying? You don't get that from everybody. So the only thing left for me to do is swallow my pride, understand my wrongdoings, understand what she needs from me, understand how effectively I can give it to her and put it into work. And the best thing that I know how to do is find solutions. And the best thing I know how to do as well is, is be me. And what I mean by that is, I know for a fact that this girl this girl you know what I mean like even off camera like 
she when she mad she mad but when but when she happy and it's me and her and we vibing like psh, bro <laughs> bro it ain't it ain't no stopping us and everybody knows my main goal was always to um to uh, to um to go to California, to live in California. I want my children to be raised in California. I want them to be able to um to like what the freak the heck? Y'all just see that? What the heck? But I know one of my goals is to um to go to California. I want my kids to go to California to uh, be born there. I mean not be born there but raised there so they can have different opportunities, right? And I think that's something that has been always in my mind and I've been frustrated that I haven't been able to get to that point. But here's the thing, I can't get to that point if I don't set it aside and worry about making my queen happy. And um, I'm pretty sure she's gonna, if she does watch this video, she's gonna watch this video thinking I'm trying to be a victim or, I don't know, like, I don't know. Because honestly, man, this video is for the people that don't want to give up on somebody they love and at the same time feel like they're forced to. You're never forced to. You're never forced to. You never have to give up more. And if it's meant to be, it's going to be meant to be. And um, you just got to you just got to trust in yourself and you got to know you got to know that you know that you know that you know that it's worth it because if not, all that energy going to be put to nothing. And another reason why I record all of this, too, is because I always said that I wanted to record the journey. And the ultimate destination is me and her having our family and being happy in what we're doing and how we're doing it. That's the ultimate goal. Um, so I'm in high spirits, man. Um, my brother just hit me up and he was like, yeah, so I gave him $200 to give to her and she didn't take it. That's typical t to me. That's that's just typical to me. But things like that is just where it's like, and I, I, I gave my brother this money before I talked to her because I haven't talked to her besides yesterday. So when what's up when we when i gave it to him i told him to make sure that he would give it to her but i knew personally that most likely she'd be like nah and i don't know y'all because I don't know. It's it, it's it's one thing being in love, but it's another thing being in love but not knowing if you're replaced. You know. So I've been dealing with that. Yeah, these bees, bruh. These bees, they had a pocket like a pistol at a gunfight. I'm telling y'all. I don't know because there's no like, I love her to death but I don't know I don't know what's to come I don't know what's happening all I know is that regardless I'm learning from it and bro, I can't wait to see her I was trying to see her today I was but she's at church I was trying to see her today she was not going to just be easily accessible either. Like she wasn't going to just let me just see her. You know what I mean? But I was going to try. Because, <laughs> bruh. I don't know. It's a certain thing when you when you just... When you see somebody that you, you love or somebody that you just... Mm, I don't know. But hopefully I see her. And when I do, I'll let you guys know how everything goes.
I am going to document just a little bit more because we all go through things. The only difference is I think we don't all just put it out there for like everyone to see. But um, it's a beauty in being transparent because sometimes someone else may need it. And trust me, me and Tamia, we are definitely a lesson. What the hell is that? We definitely a lesson. Like we we've been through so much. So hopefully I see her. Um, I'm about to edit this John. This football game finna come on. She at church. Um, do I? I don't know if she sees this video. If y'all follow on IG, let her know to watch this video. Let her know that I love her um, and all of that good stuff, man. But um, last but not least, my message to her is. Listen, I'm on it. When I when I say I'm on it, I mean I'm on doing everything that I did not do, and I'm on making sure that those twos come up to tens, and making sure that I make you happy. I support you as well as you supporting me, because she's always supporting me. I don't think I've always supported her in the way she's wanted. I don't think I've always pushed her to where she needs to be. She's like, I'm on that. And um, all I can do is say I'm on it. If she doesn't want it, eventually I just get the hint. <laughs> but if I'm replaced, there's no point. So like, I'll probably be, I'll probably be letting on.